The owner of a brothel contacted my agency. Her son died several days ago, and the police believed it to be a suicide, but his mother did not agree. She believes that her son was happy in life, and that someone murdered him. She suspects a famous local businessman, but this is a bold assumption, one that needs to be supported by evidence. I suspect it's simply a grieving woman having difficulty accepting the death of her son, and that's all there is to it. But whoever pays calls the shots. I will take her suspicions seriously and investigate. This way I will show that I can be trusted with serious cases. This must be the mother of the deceased. Hello, are you Diana Evans? The mother of the deceased. Mother of the deceased, yes. And you? Detective John Woodbray. You wanted someone to investigate your son's death. It's all a mistake. Police say he suffered from alcohol poisoning, that his heart stopped. It's complete nonsense. This couldn't have happened. Why do you think that? Don't get me wrong, but I'm a brothel owner after all. My son is old enough to know how to drink properly. I taught him myself in some way. That wouldn't prevent his heart from stopping. He was absolutely healthy. Healthier than either of us. And happier. He wouldn't drink himself to death. It's absurd. Where and when did this happen? On the 80th Fracture 4 day. There's a staircase near your carriage. It will lead you to the square. There is a kind of gazebo. I will take the required tools, carefully examine everything and return to you. In this city, I can take my entire laboratory with me. It's very convenient. Good evening. Are you interested in any vintage curiosities? What kind of store do you have? Is it a pawn shop? Well, what's in a label? I just help residents get some cash for things they no longer need. Yes, right. Well, I'll let you know if I see anything of interest. Thank you. The cemetery is already closed at this late hour. How many metal roses do you have? What price will you sell them for? I have a lot of them around the store, about 15. You can take everything you find for seven coins.
From what I recall of the directions, I need to continue along the road. The branches are too dense to get through. Maybe I can find something in the greenhouse to cut them. It looks more like a hotel than a brothel. But it seems the area isn't much of a tourist attraction. I think this is the central square of this district. Someone dropped a screwdriver. I could use that. Just need to figure out how to get it. Is this a goblet? Why is it near the doghouse? A typical corner for all sorts of business that takes place after sunset. Some simpletons immortalized their love on the sculpture. Most likely these vandals are very young. Judging at a glance, there could be poison in this bottle. I need to check it in my laboratory. Strange soil and a lot of footprints, including tracks of dogs. Someone lost a button. It could be related to the murder, but not necessarily. It seems to be a popular place. The watch stopped when it hit the ground. It was evening time. I think this watch belonged to the deceased. This could be the goblet the deceased drank from. Most likely contained alcohol. This is a highly toxic substance. Just a few drops are enough to make a person's heart stop. Thank you. 
Judging by the tracks, the dog took the goblet from the crime scene. The deceased was not alone at the time of death. He was drinking with someone. I've found sufficient indications to conclude this looks more like a murder. I need to inform the mother of the deceased about this. Have you examined the place of death? Yes. It's difficult to be sure of anything right now, but I have reason to think that it really was a murder. Oh, thank you for believing me. I was already starting to think I was going crazy. Can you take me to the deceased's room? I need to continue investigating. There could be important clues. I understand the importance. I wanted to give you the key to the room right away, but the governess didn't find it. You'll have to wait a little longer. You can talk to Oscar Brown now. He's most likely sipping coffee in the square nearby. The businessman whom you suspect murdered your son? Might I ask, incidentally, why you suspect him? I won't lie, it's my fault. He lent me money when I had business problems and I didn't manage to return them in time. Did he blackmail you? I could say so. The last time he threatened to take away the most precious thing to me. He became my main suspect after those words. Okay, I'll talk to him. Take a piece from the playroom. Most of the useful things are stored there. You can take everything you need. You can also rest there if you get tired. There is clearly more than one way to have fun here. Good evening. Are you Oscar Brown? Hello. Yes. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm Detective John Woodbray. Could you tell me where you were on the 80th Fracture 4 day? Mm, in the theater, at the premiere of a new play. Can you verify that? Certainly. I have tickets, and the director can confirm that I was there. I talked to him after the premiere. May I see these tickets? They are at home. Take the key to my apartment from the table. You can freely search there. I have nothing to hide. Did you threaten Diana Evans? Threatened? Hmm, well, you could say so, probably. She was behind on her debt, and I had to put a little pressure on her. By threatening to kill her son? Son? I didn't say anything about her son. Does she have a son? Whatever. I threatened to take the brothel away from her, to pay off the debt. It sounds like a difference in priorities led to a misunderstanding. Why did you make that threat? To scare her, obviously. It's a ridiculous amount of money for me, but I still expect to get it back. Money doesn't grow on trees. I see. At any rate, I'll take a look at your apartment, if you don't mind. I don't mind, but if you steal something, our places will be switched, and you'll have to answer questions then. Other than that, make yourself at home. Good luck.
Rich man's apartment. It doesn't look like anyone made any special effort to clean up this place before my visit. Secret compartments in dresses like these can be opened by pressing certain drawers. The businessman wouldn't drink alcohol due to his liver problems. Personalized tickets to the performance on the day of Sam's death. The businessman didn't lie. Looks like Oscar is a big theater fan and the enthusiasm is mutual. is rusty. I can't insert it back in place. It seems that Brown often makes loans to other small businessmen, and he does it without malicious intent. Oscar Brown has an impeccable alibi. I'll talk to the director next. Maybe he can give me new information. Good evening. How can I help? Hello. I'm Detective John Woodbray. I'm investigating the murder of Samuel Evans. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Of course. How can I refuse you? I'm Scott Roth. I hope it won't take long. I still have loads to do. Did you have the premiere of a new play a week ago? Oh yes, it was a success. We're now taking it to other cities. Did Oscar Brown attend the premiere? Do you know him? Of course. I personally invited him. He is a big fan of art and a very good person. Philanthropist, patron of the arts. He even stayed for the banquet. How many people saw him? Can anyone else confirm he was here? No, the whole troop has already gone on tour. I'm collecting the remaining things and also leaving. That's what I'm doing and that's why I'm in a hurry. Could there be other evidence of the businessman's visit? Hmm, there is a photo. We took a joint photo with the troop and guests. Might I see it? Oh, it hasn't been developed yet, but you can develop the camera roll yourself if you know how to do it. Just bring it back later. You'll need a case to avoid exposing the camera roll to light. Okay, I can handle it if I may. 
Where might I find a case? The photographer left all his things in the chest next to me, but it was locked. I'll give you the key to the dressing room. There might be something to open it. Please look for the case yourself. If I get distracted, I won't be able to finish all the preparations on time. Thank you for your help. Oh, all of this has quite distracted me from what I needed. There are devices in my carriage for developing camera roll.
The deceased was at the premiere, and apparently he was not alone. I need to ask the director for details. I developed the camera roll. There is a man to the right of you and Oscar in the photo. Can you remember if he was at the performance until the end? Seems to be. Yes, he was with the girl next to him in the photo. They were sitting on the balcony. Did they leave together? Yes, they stayed to take a photo and left immediately. It seems they were together. A pair, you know. Are you sure? Well, I'm not the best person to ask that. But I can tell you for sure that there were kisses in the theatre hall. Okay. Thanks for your assistance. I won't distract you any further. The deceased was with a girl. Personalized tickets. Diana, did your son have a girlfriend? No, no, he would have told me. The director at the theater said that your son was with a girl at the performance. I saw them in a photo. His tickets were issued in his name plus one. I don't know anything about this. We just found the key to his room. You can look for some clues there yourself. Thank you. But I don't think that's true. Could they be just close friends? I had a good relationship with my son. I don't know why he would hide something from me. Oscar has a very strong alibi. I don't think he was involved in your son's death. He said that he threatened you to take over your brothel. Perhaps you misunderstood him. Hmm, it is possible. I was terrified. So many things piled up. Oscar is a cold and calculating person but probably not cold enough to kill a person. But who did it? You said that this could indeed be a murder. Yes, and I haven't changed my mind. I will investigate this matter further. We will speak again after I inspect the room. The person who lived here will never set foot here again. I feel sorry for Diana. Serious relationship, in my opinion. I've already seen a picture near. 
nearby that resembles the one on this card. This is the same girl as in the photo from the theater. Vivian Shaw. I need to find out information about her and find her. The name of the victim's girlfriend is Vivian Shaw. Most likely she was the last person who saw him alive. I need to ask Diana everything she knows about this girl. Do you know a girl named Vivian Shaw? Shaw? This is the lord who lives nearby. Vivian is his daughter. It seems it is she who is your son's sweetheart. I found love letters and a locket. It is very strange, but now his secrecy makes sense. Why? Have you seen their estate? The one on the hill above the city? There's also a long staircase leading there. Now just look around. That's just it. We are clearly from different social strata. Do you think that he didn't want you to find out about his relationship and influence it somehow? I think that he didn't want anyone at all to know about their relationship, just to avoid unnecessary gossip. That makes sense. I will visit the Lord at the estate. It's not as though I expected to be welcomed here with open arms.
Hello, Detective John Woodbray. Do you have time to answer a couple of questions? Lord Brian Shaw, you have my attention. What questions do you have for me? About what? This is about your daughter. Did she have a suitor? I don't think so. I don't know anything about it. But most likely, I would have noticed. Are you sure? Because I have love letters from your daughter where she writes that she told you about her affair. Ah, I remember such a conversation, but I thought she wasn't serious. May I speak with her? I'm afraid not. She is very sick and hardly gets out of bed. Doctors can't do anything. Do you know where she was on the 80th Fracture 4 day? She was at home. Now, she is always at home. I'm telling you, she's very sick. It's been a few weeks now. But I saw her in a photo from the premiere on that day. This can't be true. How do you know it's really her? Maybe it's just a similar girl. Maybe. That's why I really need to talk to your daughter to sort this out. This is out of the question. Excessive worry will only harm her. I can't let this happen. Sorry. I couldn't get through the front door. I need to find another way to talk to the girl. This is the only place in the house where the light is on. I think it's Vivian's room. I need to find a way to get in. After fixing this ladder, I can climb into the estate through the window. I see that if you need anything, you will get it by any means possible. Are you satisfied now? I wouldn't say so, but I have now seen with my own eyes that the girl is very ill. She can't even talk properly. Do you think I would lock her here if there were no objective reasons for this? I'm not a monster. How long has this illness persisted? At least a few weeks. We went to the family crypt to clean it up, and she was unwell after that day. The weather was chilly, and the air in the crypt was stale, so it's no surprise. Did you immediately lock her in? No. I didn't see the need for it at first. But then, her condition began to frighten even the servants. I let them go. Now it's just the two of us here. It is difficult to do business and run a household, but it will be better for everyone. Would you mind if I look around here? Be my guest. I just ask you not to disturb my daughter further.
This brooch gives me a feeling of indescribable horror. It looks alive. I have the same photo, but in this one, the eyes are carefully scratched out. I found a button from this cape at the place of death. This is our family tree, which was compiled by my mother. Genealogy was her passion. So many books, and not a soul around. Idyllic.
This is the same brooch I saw on the girl. Apparently it's a family heirloom. These boots have the same strange soil on them that I saw at the site of Sam's death. According to the Lord, the crypt I'm looking for is visible on the other side. I can't get to the other side without an oar, but I saw an oar in the barn, near the Lord's estate. I can definitely find something in the greenhouse to cut thick branches.
There's a whole secret room here. I think it belonged to one of the long-deceased family members. But there are also fresh... According to the records, one bottle is missing from the counter. Exactly like the bottle I found at the crime scene. So far, all the evidence points towards Vivian being a killer. But I find that hard to believe. How could she know about the room? I need to talk to the Lord. Gloomy place. Did you know that you have a secret room in your estate? Yes, I know about it. But I lived my whole life in this house, and I didn't find one. My parents took their secrets to the grave. Well, I found one of those secrets. A room with a portrait of a woman. Books, poisons, notes. Do you have any idea who might have worked there? My mother, I guess. 
She had many hobbies that were considered, for people of our position, questionable. For example? Alchemy, occultism, astrology, and <clears throat> eugenics. She was very focused on the purity of our family tree. Can you tell me about the brooch the girl is wearing? She didn't remove it since we went to the cemetery. This is her grandmother's brooch. Did she find it in the cemetery? Yes, it was in the crypt. I allowed her to take it. The dead have no use for jewelry. May I visit this crypt? I would guide you there, but I dismissed the servants, and the whole house is on me. I don't think I can find time, and leaving my daughter alone in this state seems a bad idea to me. If you could explain to me how to find it, I can handle it myself. Go to the cemetery, and go forward until you hit the lake. The first crypt on the other side is ours. You will recognize it by the family coat of arms on the gate. There is the same one hanging in the hall. How many metal roses do you have? What price will you sell them for? I have a lot of them around the store, about 15. You can take everything you find for seven coins. Thank you. 
After taking the brooch, the girl voluntarily became a medium for the spirit of her grandmother. I need to return the brooch to the crypt to free this girl. I'll try to prove that the girl is possessed by the spirit of her grandmother. I need to negotiate with the girl's father about assistance. I think I've figured out how to help your daughter. Can you bring her to your family crypt? Can you tell me the details? This is a very vague proposal so far. I understand, but I'm not very sure of what I'm doing myself. I found scrolls in the crypt describing an occult ritual. It seems that Vivian has been possessed by your mother's spirit. I didn't think this was possible, but it would explain everything. I don't think I have any better options. Can you bring her while I get everything ready? All right. It's worth a try. I'll take care of it. I still need to do something, but it won't take long. See you at the cemetery. Now I need to talk to the mother of the deceased. I think I've found your son's killer, but it's a little complicated. I need you to come with me to the cemetery. Why? Is there some kind of trap? Sort of, I hope. Come along with me. Exorciso te, immundissime spiritus, omnis incursio adversarii. The ritual worked, and the spirit left the girl's body. When the spirit spoke, the Lord recognized his mother in its voice. She told of how she poisoned Samuel, using toxins from her secret room. Diana lost consciousness. Even the Lord could hardly fight back tears. What to do next? It is clear that the girl is not guilty. However, the murder happened. The boy's mother withdrew the case. She decided to discuss any further plan of action with the girl's father. It seems to me that she feels sorry for the girl. I have never encountered such a crime before, and I hope never to again. If every time you have to suspect not only living people, but also the dead, any investigation could drive you mad. However, I will still keep the possibility in mind, just in case.